Good morning, church family and Facebook friends. I'm a little late this morning, had some things going on today, but uh, it's good to be with you. And we finish up the book of Philippians this morning. We're going to look at Philippians chapter 4, verses 20 through 23. The Apostle Paul is winding up his letter. This would be the, the salutation, just uh, what we would say the goodbye section of it. But there's a very important statement here that we can take from this for our day and age. He says in verse 20, now unto God and our Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. Salute every saint in Christ Jesus. The brethren which are with me greet you. All the saints salute you, chiefly they that are of Caesar's household. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. That last statement as Paul is closing this letter out, as he's thinking about this church in Philippi that he loves so much and this church that brings such joy to him, um, he says, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. You know, that's true today. Nothing takes place in our lives that prevents the grace of God from being with us. Grace is not just God's unmerited favor, and that is true, that's what it is. But grace is God's enablement, his strength, uh, giving us the ability to live for him. All of that is grace. The ability to say no to sin, that's grace. And grace is always available. We can depend upon that. We can count on that. And so the Apostle Paul, as he's finishing this letter of joy, says to the church at Philippi, the grace of our Lord be with you all. You know, can I say today, the grace of our Lord is with you. As you go throughout this day, as you go throughout the rest of this week, the grace of our Lord will be with us. His presence will be with us. We can count on that. We can depend on that. So let's not get gloomy as children of God. Let's have the right heart, the right attitude. The world needs to see that God's grace is available. They need to see God's grace working in our life. And so this morning, let me encourage you, remember God's grace is there with you every moment of every day. I love you. I'm praying for you. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.